all sports, all talk, all action. This is a sports show on Tax FM. Benji, thanks so much for joining me here today on Local Heroes, uh, favorite feature on Tax FM. I am joined by Garrick Higo. He's a professional golfer on the European tour. Uh, he's really flying the South African flag real high. He's uh, played uh, seven, I mean, only on seven events on the European tour. After seven starts, he won his maiden. European Tour event, which was the Open the Portugal, and uh, doing this at a very young age, he's only 21 years of 21 years old, and uh, certainly an incredible achievement for him on the European Tour. Um, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me, uh, Garrick. Awesome, thanks for having me. I know it's it's going good, obviously, as you say, um, and you. Oh, uh, very well. Thanks, uh, Garrick. Thanks for making time. I do know you're a busy man, uh, always traveling around the world, uh, so we do appreciate it. Uh, let's start with that. Uh, championship uh, that you won in Portugal. Uh, what did you make of that experience? Um, it was awesome, eh? I mean, it was a tough week. Um, I knew I had to win. My category wasn't very good. Um, pre, um, Well, it was going to be all right, but then obviously COVID came and all the events got cancelled. So I knew I had to win if I wanted to be on the European tour um, as soon as possible. Um, so, I mean, I just, uh, you know, my, my mind was strong. I just, uh, I just did it, you know. Absolutely. I mean, uh, talking about a strong mind, uh, you certainly do go through a lot of challenges on the tour. Uh, just tell us a little bit about what has been your biggest challenge on the tour thus far? Jeez, it's probably just all the little frustrations, you know. Traveling isn't very easy um, and it's not easier now with COVID and all the stupid things you have to do. Um, I'd say that's probably my biggest frustration. Um, you know, when I'm playing golf, you know, I, I just enjoy it. Um, but, you know, getting to the tournaments and checking into hotels, packing, all the things you have to do off the course is a bit of a frustration. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, it is a frustration sometimes. It can be a lot easier if you have a team of people around you. And I think um, we do know golf is an individual sport, but we do know as well that uh, you certainly work with a big team around you. I wonder how that team looks for you. What is a collective uh, entail which people do you have in your in your team at this point in time yeah um it's not that big um it's ma ma mainly my family um but then i obviously have a swing coach uh, physio and a trainer um and then i've got my caddy and my manager um so i mean between us we just you know figure out what i need to do and what i need to get better at um but it's just nice to have you know i think the biggest thing for people or for most people to have success is to have good people around you. And I think, um, I think I do have uh, quite a few. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's certainly important. I'm glad that your family plays that role for you at this point in time. Uh, I'm just wondering as well, you know, golf is known to be the uh, expensive sport worldwide. And uh, it can be certainly challenging to find sponsors to give you the financial backing you need to follow your dream, to pursue some of your goals. Uh, a lot of golfers are stuck there, but not only golfers, a lot of people, perhaps if somebody's got a business and they need funding for it, they sort of get stuck at that point where they need to get that support to take them to the next level. Uh, you are on the European tour, you certainly got the support you needed to get to the next level. Uh, I wonder what uh, you did to sort of navigate yourself through the complexities of getting that sorted the financial aspect um my mom has uh, helped me quite a bit um especially amateur days um but as soon as i turned pro i used most of the money i won i've used for travel so you know luckily i've done well so you know it's been nice so far but um you know i think i think i've grown up in that sense you know like i haven't you know as soon as i turned pro i haven't really relied on my mom or you know you know so you know, I've, you, it's, it's nice. It's almost, it's a bit rewarding, you know, having, you know, and it, it, it makes it tough, but it makes it, you know, you grow up a little bit, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, being uh, financially independent, uh, in more like colloquial terms or more social terms, we like refer to it as like uh, adulting, you know, adulting hurts. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, exactly. A big well done <laughs> on, on handling that and, and getting that out of the way. Thanks, but uh, look, uh, Garrick, a lot of young people uh, in South Africa, well, I guess now around the world, look up to you, uh, particularly after that victory, because they relate to you because you're really young. And um, wondering what is your advice to young people who would love to live their dream? I mean, you're living your dream at this point in time. Uh, any sort mm -hmm. of key lessons you've learned in your process uh, that you believe is worth sharing? Jeez, um, 
I mean, I think the biggest thing is you just have to believe in, you know, what you want to do. Um, it's a bit of a cliche, but I think, um, you know yourself the best. And I mean, if you think that one thing's better for you, but someone else is something else, I think you have to um, go with your instinct and, you know, just, just try, you know, don't go mainstream, you know, do, do things that people don't do, you know. So I think that's the, that's the biggest thing. Absolutely. And I think that uh, probably speaks at length towards like just really believing your ideas and believing in, in what you do regardless yeah. if it's like you know, sort of uh, out of this world in some people's terms. Yes. Yeah. You have to go for it. <laughs> and also, I mean, I just want to find out like in terms of the balance, really, um, golf has played under a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of people in 2020 have been under a lot of pressure uh, in many ways, uh, considering how difficult the year has been. Uh, I wonder what's your advice to, to people on how we can deal with pressure a little bit better jeez i'm still trying to figure that out no it's okay. <laughs> um not for some one on the european tour <laughs> yeah no um it comes down to belief hey um but i don't know the pressure on the golf course is definitely a lot different to pressure people are facing now so i don't have advice for them but on the golf course um you have to believe in yourself um and you've just got to give it a go eh? if you fail i mean i've definitely failed a lot more than i've <laughs> succeeded and every other golfer will, will tell you that as well so um i think you just um as you go through the journey you kind of figure out what works for you so and stick with that so whatever works for you stick with it under pressure it'll work so i think that's uh, that's it that's Absolutely. I mean, my last question to you certainly is um, the fact that, you know, you've had a wonderful uh, 2020 so far. I wonder what is it for the future? Where, where do you want to be in the future? <laughs> um, my answer to that is uh, as good as I can be. Eh? I, I try and win everything. I try and play as well as I can. I mean, that's the goal. Um, I don't really set time goals, but um, hopefully get to top 50 in the world soon. Um, but yeah, if that happens, if it doesn't happen, it's also fine. But I just want to try my best and see where that gets me. <laughs> well, incredible. Um, all the best uh, this week. Uh, Lipper Creek, big event. A uh, lot of money there as well. So hopefully uh, that will go well and also in your favor. Perfect. Thanks so much, Yala. Hopefully it does, eh? <laughs> incredible. That's uh, Garrick Higo uh, joining me here on Tux FM, uh, focusing largely tonight today on uh, just his journey and just how inspiring his journey has been. And hopefully you've drawn some inspiration from his lessons, his process, and most importantly, his success. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir.